I think in the technology space, there's two areas of market failure that classically governments could actually respond to, which would make a big difference to the security of the internet and the internet of things. The technologists and the market are doing a really good job, and there's lots of growth there, but there are two areas they could, they could really make a difference. One is in the way in which internet service providers deploy their equipment and the action they could take is ensure when those ISPs deploy the routers and the modems into people's homes, etc., that they're not lazy and that they actually deploy the equipment without leaving it on default settings. You know, password and one, two, three. If people do those sort of default settings, they leave them very vulnerable to criminal groups turning those devices into basically a platform for botnets and just distributed denial of service attacks and other forms of hostile attack. And it's like pollution. An ISP at the moment doesn't get any money out of doing it properly. And yet as every ISP does it poorly, we all suffer the pollution of a, of a dirty network. And that's a classic case where governments haven't got to spend any money and they haven't got to do anything particularly heavy handed. They just got to bring to the attention of the senior people in those ISPs, really? And there's public data available I can point to and say, listen, according to this public data, you guys are not doing a great job. Can you improve it? Um, so that's one thing. Uh, the second one is around Internet of Things and the devices. Traditionally, we've allowed the market to try to deal with issues around improving security. So you take one of these, um, I could buy a new one every year or two, you know, the market, they can improve in, 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 in security, that's fine. But if a company deploys a, de a sensor network throughout its supply chain, it doesn't buy it once or two years. If you buy an internet connected car, a refrigerator, you don't replace that every two years. So we can't rely on the market to produce security improvements all the time. This is where I think governments do have to play a role in the Internet of Things, which are really devices, not really software, they're devices, to say a couple of things. You ought to have patchability. You ought to have a, a transparency about what's actually in, the, in, in your Internet of Things. You ought to put um, accountability on the suppliers that they're actually v accountable for security. So two areas of market failure. One, a very light-handed one with ISPs, and the second one, recognising on the Internet of Things, we really can't rely on the market to produce the sort of standards we require for long-term deployments. The think tank summit's been fascinating, very interesting. Uh, very interesting, very smart group of people from around the world uh, producing, I think, really interesting ideas. The challenge, of course, is there's so many ideas and having worked for ministers and etc. In, in my career, I know that there's only limited things you can actually take up to heads of government or even to ministers. So the process of how we get from many ideas to just a few to put in, I think, is harrowing, um, but probably necessary. I think it's a very useful thing. I think getting more and more visibility about the things that are being talked about here and how they're talked about here would be useful. We, we work in a time now when supposedly populations are critical of elites, whatever an elite is, um, and I think sharing and making transparent and exposing how these ideas come up and why and why people think they're important, I think that's as, as important as any political process of people saying, you know, I decided to do X or Y.